A lot of people seem to enjoy my first video, so here are my picks for another 15 unluckiest moments in speedrunning. While playing certain games on the Wii Virtual Console, it's possible for the game to crash at any time. This clip of Enop is especially sad because it happened 3 hours into a 100% run of Majora's Mask. Usually I see these crashes happen when performing a certain action, like equipping an item, but in this case it happens for seemingly no reason. Do I drink? You mean alcohol? Sometimes. Nice VC crash! Oh well, now I have to start a new run. WHY DID IT HAPPEN IN THIS ERA? Uh, okay, now I'm sad. Now I am sad. VC is a good console. This is a clip from the Mario Kart 64 runner Abney. Yoshi Valley is one of the hardest races in the run because you have to make a very precise jump and hit a certain part of this wall which allows you to respawn directly in front of the finish line and skip a lap. Abney had just skipped the second lap and was about to finish the race. When Lakitu places him back on the course, Bowser runs over him at the exact right time and position to push him underground. Abney then respawned further down the course which meant he couldn't attempt the lap skip again and fully killed his run. Oh, if I hit this right now, maybe I can go for it. IL records. <laughs> what? This is something I've seen happen very, very rarely. During the final Bowser fight, it's possible to throw Bowser into the bomb but still not kill him. If you hit the bomb from the very outside edge, Bowser will get hit but not land on the center platform, and that's what happened here to Polly. What? What? At the very end of the depot mission in GoldenEye 007, you need to board the train. Opening the door yourself costs a fraction of a second, so in order to be as optimal as possible, you have to hope the guards open it for you. On Secret Agent difficulty, you have to complete an extra objective, which gives the guards plenty of time to open the door, and they usually do. In this case, Goose got terrible luck because he was on 39 pace, which would have been an untied world record, but because the guards didn't open the door, he got a 40 second time. Open! Open! Are you kidding me, dude? This happened to Wilco during the first PD Piranha fight in Super Mario Sunshine. As PD spins around, he ends up pushing Mario through the floor, causing him to fall infinitely. This state causes a soft lock because you're unable to pause and exit course, nor can you get out of it, so this forces you to reset. When this happened to Punkation, it wasn't super devastating, but it was extremely unlikely and funny to watch. He was collecting the red coins in Fire Sea when the Goombas lined up perfectly to block his dive and knock him off into the lava. Excuse me? Um, you're, uh, you're actually kidding me, right? All right, um, I, I lost the run to RNG. I lost the run to RNG, dude! What? This is a clip from one of Xerion's Pokemon Red runs. All he needs to do for this fight is spam Horn Attack, which has 100% accuracy, so it should be pretty easy. Pidgeotto hits him with Sand Attack, which reduces his accuracy down to two thirds. Somehow this made him miss his attack eight times and nearly cost him the fight.
Mario 64 is known to have some weird invisible walls. This happened as Spaceman 64 was over two and a half minutes ahead of his PB, running Star Road, which is a hack of Super Mario 64. The weirdest order of getting those five coins. I didn't just get them in a row. No way! No way! No way! No way. I refuse no to believe way. that's even a thing. Kaze Wall strikes again. This is another case of a random VC crash. Master Monk had just completed the Spirit Hover, which can be quite difficult. He uses the bombs and hover boots to super slide across the gap, which takes him to the mirror shield. But as soon as he tries to switch back to normal boots, his game crashes and ruins the run. Hey man, dude. Okay. My, my game crashed! My, my game crashed! Clint Stevens was known for a long time as an Ocarina of Time runner, but recently he's been running Super Mario 64. When you're captured by a Chuckya in this game, he'll spin around and throw you at a random angle. When Clint got captured here, the Chuckya spun around and basically threw him at the exact angle for him to fall off the platform and kill his run. No, 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 no. Tokyo Boy is probably most known for his blindfolded runs of Ocarina of Time. He's attempting to collect the heart piece here, but misses and somehow gets hit mid-air by the Gwei twice in a row. Oh my god! What? What are, the, what are literally the odds of that happening twice? Here's another Star Road speedrun, this time from Bird650. The way Super Mario 64 works is every frame you actually can run slightly out of bounds. When the game sees that Mario is intersecting with a wall, it will then place Mario back to where he's fully inside the course. However, there are certain circumstances where you can clip so far into a wall that Mario is no longer touching it, and you'll fall through. It looks like Bird landed at just the right angle for one of the slopes to push him out of bounds, and that's what caused this to happen. Really? Come on! What was that, dude? <laughs> I just got through everything. What was that, man? <laughs> uh. <laughs> in the first generation of Pokemon games, the developers made a mistake in that even moves with 100% accuracy will miss 1 out of 256 times. During this fight, he uses the move Thrash, which has 100% accuracy and lasts for either 3 or 4 turns. He gets bad luck, and it only lasts 3 turns, which wouldn't matter, but he gets a Gen 1 miss, meaning he needs to kill Pidgey with another move, but then he gets even worse luck and hurts himself in his confusion. But even with all that, there still was a high chance Pidgey would use Sand Attack, but used Gust instead. All of this happening to Gunner Maniac at the same time caused him to die and lose the fight. Nice. Nice. Three turn thrash into Gen 1 mess into hurt myself. Into no sand attack. Nice. This clip is painful to watch because we know this would have been a world record. MK Wii Freak was doing individual level runs of the Mario circuit in Mario Kart Wii. During the run, his dog starts barking loudly, so he decides to pause the game and take the dog out of the room. IO runs in this game are timed with the in-game timer, but if you pause the game, it makes your run invalid. After MK Wii Freak comes back to the game, he unpauses and ends up getting an invalid world record time. Can you shut up?
And now for our final clip of Kofaze, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This is similar to what happened to Gunner Maniac, but even worse. He gets two back-to-back -back Gen 1 misses, which is already a 1 in 65,536 chance. Combine that with a 3-turn thrash, which is a 50% chance, hurting himself in his confusion, which is another 50% chance. That comes out to 1 in 262,144 chance that he would lose this fight in this way. Yeah, go on quick attack, thank you. No, you gen one again, bro. Come on. You gen one twice! You gen one two times! Uh-uh. 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 No. No, no, no. No. That's not... That doesn't happen.